How's it going, everybody? This is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, and I'm back again with a new episode of Tiny Home Tuesday, where on Tuesdays I showcase a particular park model tiny home coming in at 399 square feet that we have available right here at Recreational Resort Cottages. And this Tuesday, I'm bringing to you the Burner Doodle. And I am back again with a new episode of Tiny Home Tuesday. And you guys have asked for the burner doodle. You said this is one of the most functional floor plans that we've showcased here on the channel with over 250 videos. This has been one of your favorite floor plans for efficiency and flow. So right here, what do you know? I'm back again with the burner doodle, but this time I've revamped it with new decor features and colors. But starting right here on the exterior, you can see we kept it cookies and cream on the burner doodle. We've got the garlic clove base and the iron ore trim, as well as iron ore post and your crow's foot and beam in iron ore. You also have a gavaloon metal roof. And with that said, if you're subscribed like you should be, you know Recreational Resort Cottages is bringing the quality. So 30-year metal roof, 30-year composite decking, and a 50-year warranty on your siding. So that right there is giving you everything you need on the exterior. The dimensions of the burner doodle is 11 feet wide, 40 feet long, and that's including this six-foot front porch. And it's on sale today for 88 k 88,000, you're gonna get everything you see today besides furniture and decor. So let me show you so much more at a great price. Starting here on the porch, rebar railing. So that right there, you do not have to maintain. It's durable and efficient. Also, as you come up onto the porch, you'll see with even six foot of space, it gives you ample space for living. We've got the gray composite decking that you'll see on the porch as well. And then up top, we've got two can lights as well as pre-wired and braced for a ceiling fan. So that right there means you are ready to go. We've got window up front. We've got another transom up top. We even added a farmhouse porch light right there just for some pizzazz and we've got the 36 inch blinds and glass front door so that way you have the privacy but can bring in the natural light when you want let's take it inside so i can showcase why this burner doodle is one that you need if you are currently frugal and you're trying to get a great price 399 square foot tiny home this is the one for you and as you come in you can see, again, like I told you, the flow of this floor plan works great. Even at a 11 wide home, you've got ample space in the living area. As soon as you walk in, you're greeted with tall ceilings. Look at that, and we've even added a tray ceiling with what? Ship lap. So we got that in there as an accent, four can lights around, and we've got the three blade ceiling fan with painted black blades on it for you. And then right here on your main wall, you're gonna have the space for your sofa. You can do a couple of chairs, you can do a sectional if you wanted to wrap it around here. I feel that this concept right here with the couch is a great flow and great aesthetic for this floor plan. Also, we've kept the transom windows up top. We gave you one above the front door. We've got them on each side of the living room space as well. And speaking of the living room space, you follow me over to the opposite side and you'll see we normally, if you're subscribed again like you should be, we do built-in entertainment centers here just to make it easier for our clients. But in this model, we omitted that feature. That way you've got a large, basically wall space for any size TV that you want to accommodate in a 399 square foot tiny home. You can see this picture right here, how large that is. I mean, you can go up to an 80, 85 inch in here with ease in your tiny home and feel like you're at the Cinemark Theaters. I'm telling you guys, Mr. Tiny took care of you. And with that said, another transom window up top. But again, we are talking about the flow of this floor plan. We can flow from the living area right over into the dining. Say what, Mr. Tiny? A dining area in a tiny home? Of course, you're watching Recreational Resort Cottages. And as you see right here, we've got a designated space that you could put a small table 
right here. And then we've got the window right in front as well as another transom up top. So that way you've got natural light coming in and just making this 399 square feet feel so much larger. And then right here we have the built in hutch. What you'll notice anytime I bring a model back, I've got to revamp it. So you see I've added the black cabinets, ladies and gentlemen, black cabinets down low right here for you with black bar pools. We just blacked it out in here for you just to add something new and innovative right in here into this park model tiny home. And we kept those black cabinets down low. We went with the high definition countertop up top, tying the colors in together with the white ship lap backsplash. And then another new feature is we've done open shelves before, but these wood open shelves we painted black. We blacked them out to match. So guys, look how great that looks and look how when you black that out, any decor pieces that you put on top of it just pop with color because you've now made statement pieces in your hutch area. So this works great right here. So that way, if you got a toaster here, you know, making your toaster strudel in the burner doodle, you got the place to do it right over here to the side. And again, we've got your mini split. AC and heat system, super energy efficient right here in your main area. You'll also get one in the bedroom. And as you come across, you'll see galley style kitchen. What's great about this floor plan is it is even wheelchair friendly. So whether you've got a walker, you've got crutches, you need a wheelchair, you've got one, you are able to accommodate in this model with the galley style kitchen, giving you plenty of space to maneuver as you need. And then we kept everything going here black cabinets down low, but guess what we did? We had to brighten it up. So we threw some white cabinets up top with black bar pools and we tied everything in together with the white subway tile going from countertop to the bottom of the cabinets. And guys, these are 42 inch cabinets. Look how tall they are. I mean, goodness gracious, you got plenty of space here in these cabinets and all of your shelving is adjustable as you can see as well window up above the sink. We went ahead and kept the standard two basin stainless steel sink. And then we've got another transom window up top. And as you follow me down, you'll see we've got the list of drawers right there going for you. And then right here, we kept stainless steel appliances going to match your stainless steel two basin sink. Smooth top oven, got the convection oven up top and then ample storage space going around. And then we've got your side by side fridge ice in the door with even more storage up top. And as you follow me through, look at the space of these doorways, guys. Again, you can go to 36 inch doorways in this model. So it makes it easy and efficient for people of all sizes. And basically just the functionality of the floor plan. Again, it's easy, easy peasy to get through. And we've got the one piece fiberglass shower right here for you. And guys, that's not, take the focus off of these high ceilings. Look at this, no matter the height, Mr. Tiny did it right in the burner doodle for you. And then right over here, we've got your linen cabinet right here above your toilet. We've got the countertop wrapping around right here so it gives you ample storage space for everything you need in the bathroom. And then we've also kept the midnight package going. We've even got a black faucet in the bathroom for you. Now follow me on down and you'll see right here, as we make our way down, you come through into the primary bedroom. And what do we got right here hidden out of the way is the space for your stackable washing machine and dryer. And you've got plenty of space up top. You can even add some shelving up there or another cubby for storage if you'd like. And then as you come into the bedroom, you'll see large wall right here. Again, guys, I told you in the living room, you had enough space for any size TV you wanted. We try to keep the same thing going right here in your bedroom. You can see how much space you have to just mount it up right here. And you even got another transom window up top. We kept the three blade ceiling fan centered right there for you. And then we've got the six door pantry right here for storage. And as you can see, Boom, we've got ample space right there to store your clothes and belongings. Down low is actually the space for your water heater. You've got a 20 gallon electric water heater. The tankless water heaters are an option for you for those that would like to know. And then we've got the window here off the rear of the home bringing in that natural light. 
And then as you see, we've got the large space here that you could easily accommodate a queen size bed in this model. And that is a 11 wide model that you can accommodate a queen size bed in. Where do they do that at? Recreation or resort cottages. Again, like I told you earlier, you get your second mini split here in this bedroom. You get another transom up top. And then you thought that storage was enough, but that little bitty old pantry over there, <laughs> <laughs> you talking to Mr. Tony, ladies and gentlemen, bifold door gives you more. So we've got the space in here for a single full closet. So that way you've got your single shelf there. You've got the ample space down below. Again, we kept everything going crown molding, guys. It's the details. I sit here and sometimes I think, oh my goodness, I got to remind the people because some people are watching these videos for the first time. And if that's you, thank you. I'm glad to have you. But just so you know, half inch sheetrock, two by fours, 16 inches on center, double thermal pane windows, vapor barriers, radiant barriers, all those things are in this particular home. And that is standard when you purchase from recreational resort cottages and, and you get a 399 square foot tiny home. Sometimes it slips my mind. I think, oh, the people are just supposed to see and know the great quality that we provide. But guess what? There's new viewers every day and I appreciate all of you. So with that said, I gotta tell you, sometimes I gotta remind myself, we only do not offer the quality on the outside, it's on the interior as well. You've got real shiplap. This isn't any wallpaper that we put up because it looked nice, trying to pretend. We got real shiplap in here, ladies and gentlemen. We've got real wood. <laughs> hey, subscribers, you can tell them what that means too when I say real wood, but that will leave that for another video. You gotta catch the next one out. But with this, said this is the burner doodle ladies and gentlemen this is a 399 square foot tiny home which is 11 feet wide again 40 feet long including that six foot front porch and it's on sale today for 88k 88,000 you'll get everything you saw in here besides furniture and decor we take that out and you get everything that you see guys and keep in mind that's today not next year not next week that's today for 88k and if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. Give me a like and let me know that you enjoyed this feature presentation. If you did, hit that subscribe button as well. That way, if you're subscribed like you should be, you know these videos are coming every week. So hit the subscribe and the notification bell at the same time. Also, if you love the burner doodle, leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite feature was. Was it the front porch? Was it the functionality and flow of the floor plan that it can easily accommodate someone in a walker or wheelchair if needed? And also, what about the black and white cabinets? I'm talking about ladies, you know, gentlemen, you know, you know you like Oreos, cookies and cream. Hey, we're trying to give you a little bit of everything in between. You've got everything in here for you to work with. And with that said, guys, if you want to contact me about the burner doodle, you know what to do. Run over to Instagram at the Mr. Tiny at T H E M R T I N Y. You can connect with I anytime. I'm selling the burner doodle as well as hundreds of other models directly off of my Instagram. You can contact me day or night and I'll make sure that price is right. And until next time, my name is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, and I'll see you next. Tiny Home Tuesday.